Hello, I'm Jean Easley Johnson. I am one of George Easley's 12 children. My sister Margot Gallagher and I both nominated Dad for the Outstanding Alumnus Award at Pius. To me, Dad is kind of like a superhero alumnus at Pius, um, not because he may or may not have picked the Pius colors, um, nor because he was the first homecoming king or in the first graduating class of Pius, it's not even due to all the boards he was on, the contributions he made to numerous campaigns and fundraisers, or even supporting the school and athletics by attending countless meetings, athletic events, not only for his 12 children, but is now attending for his grandchildren. No, Dad isn't super because of those things. What makes Dad a superhero alumnus of Pius to me is how he lived a faith-filled life leading by example and words, sending his 12 kids to Pius, where we received, like he did, a Christ-filled education, both academically and athletically, and how this is continuing with future generations. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the outstanding alumnus of Pius for 2021, our dad, superhero dad, George Easley. <laughs> Well, thank you. This is uh, very nice, and uh, I, uh, I'm thinking it's because I'm riding the coattails of my grandkids, my uh, children, great-grandkids, uh, lots of other people, uh, and Joanne, who is uh, not with us, but Anyway, it's a wonderful family award. I appreciate it. It's, uh, Pius is such a great institution, and uh, uh, we've uh, we've just been so fortunate over the years in so many different ways. And uh, uh, Gary, that's a very nice award, and I want to congratulate you. And uh, really neat. And uh, there are uh, a number of little things I can bring up. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to. Uh, I got a little letter from uh, Emily uh, Emily Moore at the foundation uh, a little while back, and it, uh, it covered some things that uh, maybe I could bring up. And uh, because it's the 65th highest anniversary coming up, and they want to do a little video on it, and uh, maybe we can help with that. But, uh, for example, uh, one of the questions was, uh, how did we, my dad and some other guys, how did they pick this particular location? And uh, it was really scientific, I believe. Uh, they went out and looked at a couple of cornfields and uh, in East Lincoln, and then they went to a bar and had... Uh, uh, three or four beers and picked this location, perfect location. I mean, it's just been hit the spot for all these years, and I think it'll be uh, work for another 50 years at least. And so that's, that's a neat thing. Uh, another thing uh, was she wanted to know how we picked the uh, school colors, and I've got a number of 1957 graduates here that can attest to this, if they got any memory left, but anyway, <laughs> uh, the, the uh, Vince walked into the classroom and said, uh, uh, we, we, we got to order uniforms, and it's late spring, and uh, so we thought, well, heck, this is a pretty good deal. We did, uh, whoever brought it up, this isn't a, we're not making this up, I mean, <laughs> The, the uh, forest green was one of my favorite colors, so I was plugging that. Somebody else came up with gold or yellow, and voila, we had the school colors. And, uh, and it, it's been pretty neat. Now, I know you've heard the Thunderbolt story. Most people have. That was a trip where Vince Aldridge and, and uh, Father Vapp and Bill Enbody, who helped out Vince uh, coaching, uh, 
uh, were coming back. I think there was a fourth. I don't know who it was. Uh, but anyway, it was a thunderstorm and a big, huge bolt of lightning lit up the sky and, and voila, another breakthrough, scientific breakthrough. <laughs> Thunderbolts. And that's the only name uh, that anybody uh, had for many, many years. It was the it was that original. So uh, anyway, that that uh, that's a little bit of history that was kind of fun. And as you look back on it, originally uh, uh, one one other time when I was up here, I would talk about cathedral and what we had back then, which was virtually nothing, and how exciting it was to come to uh, this uh, new school out in the cornfield in East Lincoln, and we had a basketball court of our own, a football field. We couldn't believe it. And uh, now we uh, are all, uh, we've been, what, we're going on 65 years. I can't imagine that. But anyway, uh, uh, it's, it's just incredible uh, uh, all that's happened and the way we keep building uh, on piecemeal and it works and I think Bernie and his his guys have done a great job of helping us through and uh, picking the next best uh, expanding the next best area and uh, of course going out and raising the money is no small feat and we got more of these and, and uh, by the way uh, you know that first year we had a, a state championship golf team, and we thought we were going to have a state championship football team. And some yahoos from uh, David City, uh, who, who let Father Meisenberg back in here? I thought, I thought we got rid of him. I, anyway, uh, that was uh, that was a little bit of a letdown, but. You know, crap happens, yeah. <laughs> I could tell you more about that story, but you, you're going to think I'm making it up. Uh, in any event, uh, th it's, this is such a phenomenal school, and we're uh, so blessed. And one of the questions that, uh, that uh, uh, was on this little letter, who is your favorite coach and uh, teacher? Uh, well, first of all, when we started, we only had one coach. That was Vince. And he uh, coached football, basketball, track, and golf. And uh, he was a pretty good golfer. Maybe that's the reason they won. But uh, anyway, he was also the algebra teacher. And uh, I got a 94 in that class or something close to it. My sister, Lynn, isn't here. But two years later, she got a 94. I thought, are there any other grades that he gives out? <laughs> are they all 94s? <clears throat> anyway, when I got to Notre Dame, I, I toyed with the idea of going into advanced math. And fortunately, I didn't do that because... I, uh, I, I uh, went a little bit further and flunked my first class at Notre Dame and, uh, in, in math, and uh, it was uh, uh, it's because Vince taught me so much. <laughs> anyway, I, I, uh, I uh, had to take that course over because math was a re requirement, and uh, so uh, I had this little guy walk into class. I don't know if any of you know Don Costello. Don Costello was from New Jersey, and he comes to Notre Dame. He's going to teach math and is a uh, student assistant or something. And, uh, geez, the book that he had was horrible. I, I, I didn't know anything. Uh, I thought, how am I going to get through this? Well, I had a little mixer. Uh, I know you're going to think I'm making this up. Uh, a little mixer where I think it was with Barrett College, and they come down, and, and anyway, I walk in there, and 
I see Don, and, and uh, he, he said, do you know that girl over there? I said, well, sure I do. Want to meet her? And he said, yeah. So I took him over and introduced him. I didn't know him. I didn't know her at all. But uh, <laughs> they got along, and, uh, and I got a passing grade in math. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I cared about. Yeah, so uh, we... we uh, we had a lot of different uh, things that were uh, going on back in those days. We, uh, I'm trying to think, I thought I had more written down here uh, that I want to talk about. Oh, biology. <laughs> biology. I guess I did take another course. And, and, and uh, uh, I, I got sick of that formaldehyde, and I'm sitting out in the hallway, and Vince comes by, and he says, what's wrong? I said, I don't feel too good. <laughs> and so anyway, he goes in and talks to Sister Charlotte, and I get to go out with Vince. We went down to CYO and shot baskets and played horse, and, and uh, he did that more than once, by the way. He'd come in and said, How George, how's George feeling today? And of course, I never felt good, of course. <laughs> and uh, we, we played that probably a little too long, and one of the nuns said, look, no more of this, you know, you're finished. Uh, anyway, so therefore, Vince was my favorite coach and my favorite teacher. Uh, we, we, uh, we've got a lot of different things uh, here that have, uh, done, we've done so well with, uh, and uh, even some things that we were close to doing phenomenal with. I cry about uh, David City. I mean, Ed uh, and his class were lost two state championships in the last second in basketball. So it wasn't the we weren't the only guys that came up short. Uh, it happened, and it continues to happen. I guess uh, we aren't going to have a, a perfect. Uh, season every year in every sport, obviously. And uh, so I'm trying to think of uh, one of the things that impresses me so much is not only the, uh, the uh, magazine that we put out, uh, The Pious Connection, which is spectacular. Do we do that twice a year? That is just amazing. I mean, I've never seen anything comes close to it. But technology, so when this came up, I thought I would dig in and look at the technology uh, page and whatnot. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it was just so much stuff. And then the, the long-term expansion, uh, uh, long-term long planning, uh, that was uh, incredible. And, uh, and so I know now why Father Meisenberg ducked out. He isn't going to try and raise uh, all the money for the continuing or art, performing arts, and then believe it or not, a swimming pool. We're talking about a swimming pool. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded good, didn't it? Uh, anyway, we we've been uh, very blessed. Uh, we've been blessed with so many great coaches. I wish I. Could talk about all of them. I mean, they've just been amazing. Uh, the the uh, number of teachers and coaches goes on and on, especially when you've had so many kids uh, go through here, which we have, and and uh, now grandkids. Uh, it just it's it's amazing. We're so thankful. We're so blessed. It's just incredible and. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, oh, one other little thing I wanted to bring up is, is uh, cost. I mean, that blew my mind too. I mean, here we have uh, a, a cost per student of uh, 6000 uh, 6650 I thought I had glasses here. I didn't mean a gloves. Yeah, that's okay. But anyway... Uh, then, then you go from uh, what the Lincoln Public Schools uh, cost per student. They're, they're 12000 something. I thought that was high. 
That's not high. State of Nebraska, all schools, is 13,000 plus. Nationally, uh, if you take all U.S. Uh, Catholic schools, it's 15,240. And here we are at 6,580 or something like that. Man, do we have a value. I mean, we're just so fortunate. We ought to be cheering every every day. Uh, it, it's so amazing. And uh, uh, there's been a lot of different ways that it's worked. We don't need to get into that. I know this isn't my job. I just came up with some uh, different uh, uh, facts that I didn't even know existed. And I'm supposed to know. But anyway, it was nice to go through that. Uh, thank everybody. Uh, Jean uh, said it so well. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, tell you what she already did. I believe that uh, my dad's greatest joy in Pius, uh, Pius the Tenth, is a Christ-filled education he and his family have received academically and athletically and spiritually. Uh, that will continue on with future generations. And that's the bottom line. And uh, again, thank you. Uh, we're blessed. Our family's blessed. You're all blessed. We're just very lucky. Thank you very much.